so much sugar, so many fatty foods, but it was really one of those life-changing moments for you. Uh, and I would love it if you would take us back there and what that transition and transformation has been like for you and where it started. Patty, can you unmute her? Yeah, yeah, she did. Um, well, as Sean Marie stated, I was traveling as a yacht chef for about seven years around the world, uh, feeding the rich and famous and um, seeing the world, enjoying that. And um, this was way before I got into the business of juice or detox. Um, before I began being a yacht chef, I, I got in a car accident that was pretty vicious. And I, I actually got a spinal injury that I would then learn to work with throughout my life. And um, I, I don't know, I ran off and did this yacht thing and started becoming a chef. And then over time, what happened is the body just started to kind of slowly, like I, I was good for many years. And then I hit kind of a wall and my adrenals blew up on me. And before I knew it, I had to let go of the yachting thing, come back and ground myself, ended up actually moving back here to Pasadena. And there was probably a good two years where I could barely work. I was just laying on the couch and I was incredibly inflamed, incredibly in a lot of pain, chronic pain all the time. And uh, the real crux for me that actually began my desire for change, because I didn't even have it, I was just too depressed and too fatigued to even want change, right? Mm -hmm. Um, my stimulus for, for moving towards any form of transformation or change happened because things got worse. Um, my mother had a nervous breakdown and was almost committed. And I had to go through the process of making sure that she didn't get locked up for life. And that's kind of an intense thing to share, but it, it marked a change in me where it's the first time I ever I was dealing with not my own mental illness, but someone else's. And it required me to rally and to help her. And so I helped her through that situation and we got her good care and rehabilitation. That was the first step. But then after that, that made me turn to myself and say, well, wait a minute, I have all this ability to help others, but what about helping myself? So what I actually did was I moved away from Los Angeles where I had a business established after my yachting career. And I moved back in with my college roommate who's on this call right now, Ellie Laura. And I, we moved into a place in Costa Mesa and we decided to take a trip. We needed a break from our realities. They weren't working. Everything was still very traumatic with my family and then my health was just really poor because of all the stress as well. Um, so we took a trip to Mount Shasta and when we were in Mount Shasta, we um, did a 10 day juice cleanse with, um, we had kind of like, we stayed on my friend's land. His name is Rundy and, or was Rundy, he's now passed. Uh, we stayed on his land and we, I made juices just for my heart, I just was inspired. I made juices and smoothies and we sat in the woods and, and drank them and watched deer eat his compost. And it was weird, like we were there and it was like not some sort of crazy moment where we were like, oh, we need to change our lives forever. Um, but Ellie looked up at me and she said, you know, these juices are so good and I feel so fantastic. What if we were to bring this to the world? And I laughed at her. And I said, come on, we're just doing a juice cleanse. We're just trying to feel better. <laughs> and she said, but what if we could help other people feel better, Jennifer? What if, like, this is magic in a cup. This is something we can give to others. And I said, I don't know about all that, but I'm definitely willing to explore healing myself further. So we did this trip, and for 10 days we were there, and we went in hot springs, and we dove in cold water and we drank amazing juices and smoothies and we lost weight and we were happy and I felt you know enriched by being in nature and um, we came back and as I said I moved away from Los Angeles because my life and my business there had all fallen apart everything was just falling down I'm sure many entrepreneurs go through this like I've always been an entrepreneur actually and 
like I've had maybe six businesses throughout my life. And whenever your temple starts to fall apart, like, and you have the, you start having these crashing down experiences in your business, in your relationships, in your family, yeah. it's, it's pervasive, you know, like the body is a whole organism and your life is a whole organism and they all connect with each other and affect each other. So for me, the best thing to do was to do what's called a locational, to leave my life behind that I had created a business I had been building then for two years, three years, a partner I had that no longer it worked with and moved down to Orange County and start over. And what we did is when we came back from that juice cleanse, we literally rebooted our lives. And Ellie was in a similar spot and she'll share that later in another live, but, or like a Zoom. But when we came down, uh, when I came down to Costa Mesa, we started a Facebook page. And on the Facebook page, every Saturday, we did a one day cleanse. And we, when we would cleanse, we would share it. And before we knew it, the Facebook page had 700 people on it, and then 1,000, and then 2,000, and then 3,000, and then 5,000. And we were like, what? We're just sharing the juice. But what Ellie saw was true, that we could heal and help others with what had been divined in that moment of us feeling crushed by life you know, and taking the time to cleanse and transform the body. So long story short, uh, we would end up cleansing 15,000 people. And I now have this business, Earthly Juices, for 10 years. And I live my dream. I get to help people reverse their digestive disorders, to shrink their waistline, to grow their waistline if they need to, to make the gut work and make your life work and it's it's really beautiful in the last in the last 40 days I've taken on a, a renewal in a way a rejuvenation I, I had a little boy about three years ago and it it, it really uh, it beat up my um, it beat up my endocrine system having him and not sleeping so I was feeling by this summer two two and a half years later after having him I was feeling very depleted again, kind of like I did at the very beginning of our cycle 10 years ago when we started this business. I was feeling very depleted, somewhat depressed, and still yet I'm doing my passion, right? I'm living and helping women, mainly women, men too, um, transform their lives and eat better and transform their shape and their, their sense of self really is what, oh, hold on, I've got a little ice cream axe. Okay, <laughs> we're in the juice bar, so um, I'll just let them finish. Okay, Jen, Jen, this is this is real life stuff. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he's taking a couple of orders out for us right now. They're early deliveries. So, so about forty days. Well, about two weeks ago, I turned forty-four, and about three or four weeks before I turned forty-four, I decided I wanted to do another transformation experience but for myself I wanted to take the time that I always put into helping everybody else transform right like I was helping my mother be safe when she had her nervous breakdown you know that's our pattern to over help and to help others I was helping others do that when I was like but I'm not helping me you know and I'm not so happy because I don't feel so hot you know I was having adrenal issues, I was having hormone issues, I wasn't sleeping, and, it, and I was having chronic sinus problems, I was having IBS symptoms again, like I was just in a state, because of having a baby, it like changes everything inside you, like on the inside, you're just not the same, you know, and now you're a mom, and you have to take that on too, right, another responsibility, right, so I decided for my 44th birthday to give myself a 44 day cleanse. And I actually complete this cleanse on Friday. Hmm. So Congratulations. It's, yeah, it's pretty exciting because the benefits that I can share is I've lost 12 pounds. I've regained my energy. I've got my hormones back on track. My libido's back up because it was on the tank. Yeah. Right. I know. Yeah. And then, <laughs> right. You know, good sex is good for everyone. So, um, 
it would be, and if you're not feeling it and you're in that perimenopausal state, you feel very irritated a lot because you're not, you know, tied into your creative center, your creative center is blocked. Um, I also did some amazing body work with a body worker named Kevin Isaac, and it took a lot of the body pain I was having away too, mm -hmm. because when you get inflamed, uh, you start to hurt where you've had injury. So that inflammation has gone away. I'm not feeling chronic pain. Um, and my gut's back on mine, which is really great. So, um, yeah, it, and, and I'm inspired to help other people with this kind of transformation. And um, some of the tools I use this time around don't require me to cook for you or don't require me to do much for you. You get to do more if you're in a transformation, this 40-day transformation for yourself, which is kind of, I know I'm going on and on, but if we go back, that's kind of where I started. I, I wanted, I, I wanted to like do a juice cleanse because I wanted to take on taking care of myself again. Mm -hmm. And then it just exploded into this business that's very successful. And we help many, many people do that. But even in that process, you can lose taking care of yourself, right? Absolutely. So as you take on the temple, as you take on caring, self-care for the temple, which is your body, what happens is like almost like something divine comes through, something higher comes through that guides you in your business. And that's the part that I really am excited for Sean Marie to talk to me about because if you're caught up in body pain and you're caught up in digestive disorders and you're caught up in eating for comfort rather than health, what happens is your channel gets mucked up and your inner vision and your higher power that guide your vision and purpose on this planet, it gets clouded. Mm -hmm. You no longer have the ability to be in that moment and catch those opportunities, see those visions for other people. So doing this cleanse has been nuts for me. Like I, it's turned on about seven or eight new business opportunities I never thought were possible. Like I wasn't even looking for them, but I saw them because I was clear and ready to receive. So that's a powerful thing. Um, it's a powerful thing, Jen. And you know, and it, I, I'd really love it if you could speak to uh, some of the specific changes that you've seen with your business, because as we talked about before we started the, the call tonight, uh, your other co-founder, Ellie Laura, is on the call tonight. Night. Yeah, she's here. And I was there, and uh, and I had the privilege of working with the two of these girls in a number of different ways. Um, I was your client; you were my client. Uh, yes. At the very, very, very beginning, and you know, Jen, what's so interesting is I remember like it was yesterday. This one of the first conversations that you and Ellie had, and I had was that you had. At the time, I think it was 16 or 17 different ideas for revenue streams. And all of these, and, and it was just the two of you, and all of these beautiful ideas that all needed attention. And, you know, this, you and I and, and Ellie unpacking this and you being supported in making a decision, right, of picking a lane. But you said something that I think is incredibly important to anybody in business in art whether they're working for someone else whether they have a business of their own but it's that piece of clarity it's that it's that thing that begins to open up it's the clearing of that channel when you start cleaning up your gut when you start eating healthier and and i want to be really clear that you and I know, and I've been on, I, I don't even know how many cleanses I've done with you and Ellie, and they've all been absolutely incredible. And the, the, most, the most consistent thread for me every time I've done a cleanse with both of you girls is how much clearer I feel, how much better I feel in a very short period of time. But I've even mentioned to my husband before that this food and these juices and this superfood, it's, it's like Prozac. It's like nature's Prozac. Because in less than a week, no, I'm completely serious. In less than a week, my clarity, my um, enthusiasm for life, like everything just feels better. 
and I'm thinking more clearly and I'm making more sound decisions. So if you could, Jim, because most of us on the call were like, sure, we know how to drink a green juice. Sure, we can cut out carbs or caffeine or sugar or fatty foods, but I would really like you to speak to this gut connection and why that makes such a difference in our mental capacity and our clarity. Like what is it physiologically that is happening that makes that so profound and it happens to everybody. Like the minute that we start cleaning up the way that we're eating, uh, we feel better and we're thinking more clearly and we make better decisions. And, and even like you said, we begin to attract things to us that are really more aligned with what we really wanna do. But, but can you speak a little bit more to the specifics of why that matters so much? Yeah, I totally can. So I think, I mean, we've known this from the beginning, actually, and it's been one of our values that we carried through for many of our clients that wanted to cleanse and felt like they couldn't, but then felt they, they could if we would help them, right? If we held the container for them. So here's something that happens. When you commit to a cleanse, it could be 10 days, three days, 40 days. You make a promise to nourish your body, to come from love, to your digestive system, to not pollute your system, actually. And I think what happens is that creates a vibration inside you of self-love. Um, you know, you nourish the gut, and as you nourish the gut and have proper, proper fuel, right? Most people, they're, they're running around on coffee, they're like in fight or flight, their adrenals are in overdrive because they're stressed about, you know, taking care of all their responsibilities. But when you do a cleanse, the top priority becomes, how are you gonna get the right nutrition in you? How are you gonna give the body the right fuel? Mm -hmm. So the adrenals and the nervous system get out of fight or flight and actually relax. And actually, another big commitment you make is, giving up your biggest offender. When you do a cleanse, like when someone does a cleanse with me, they do three days, five days, seven days, whatever, a long cleanse. I always ask them, okay, this is the opportunity when you come out of the cleanse and during the cleanse to give up your biggest offender, to give up the thing that you absolutely know is hurting you. And yet you do it anyways in order to quell an emotion or fill up a need or whatever it is, you know? And quite often what I hear is many, from many of our clients is the biggest offender is sugar. Mm -hmm. And they're eating sugar. Instead of eating fuel, they're eating sugar. Mm -hmm. And what happens is they're not sustained. So what happens when you actually begin to have real food nutrition is you get sustained. A part of you that's been hungry for so long for dense nutrients gets fed. A part of you gets fed that doesn't ever get fed when you're on the run and in the hurry and all this, mm -hmm. a part of you gets nourished. That's the word I use. I love that. Like that we're nourishing the body. When we're cleansing, we're super feeding and nourishing the body. And that is like, goes to number one, instead of like what, number 15, how often is what you eat number one on your list? A lot for me. Oh, well, that's good then. Then you're in the right place. Oh, no, no. What I meant was more from an obsessive perspective, that, that it's often, um, so from the perspective of comfort, right? So like when I'm uncomfortable, that is the number one thing I think. I'm not thinking about what can I do right now to nourish my body. I'm thinking, what can I do right now to feel comfortable? Which, oh, you mean? Which, interestingly enough, makes me feel completely uncomfortable. Right. You mean like, what can I shove in my face so whatever's emotionally upsetting me can, can stop hurting? Yes. And, and right. I think also so that's it. There's, there's sometimes a, an unhealthy relationship with food, too, where you're thinking constantly about what am I going to eat because I can't eat carbs, I can't eat sugar, I can't eat this, I have to have more protein, I have, you know, so it becomes an, an unhealthy obsession instead of it being something that's really good for you it becomes an even more stressor. I wonder what the heck that's doing, your adrenals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you know what? Anytime you, you like, stress out like that, 
it, it creates cortisol. Mm -hmm. And cortisol, uh, when not used, turns to acid inside the gut. Mm -hmm. So think about what happens. How do we get in an acidic environment in the gut? Stress out all the time. Mm -hmm. And it could, be, it could be stressing out about work. It could be stressing out about what you're going to eat. You know, what I think I do that's often very good for some of my clients is I uh, create a structure for them. I say, okay, you're going to have this in the morning. You're going to have this at 10 o'clock. You're going to have this at 12 o'clock. You're going to get this at 2 o'clock. You're going to get this at 4 o'clock. You're going to get this at 6 o'clock. And I dare you to have all, all of those meals in one day, you yeah. know, <laughs> like, or juices or whatever it is we're giving you. We create, like, one of the gold mines that I created for earthly juices I, is I've created all the structures like that daily structure. And how I did that is I felt into, okay, if this is my goal and this, if I was doing this, what would I want? You know, how would I feel nourished and supported? And sometimes that really helps our clients because when they're on a 10 day cleanse, it's all laid out for them. They don't have to think, mm -hmm. you know, they just drink the juice, smoothies, soups, salads, whatever we've given them, you know, vegan meals that, and they just eat them and then go through it. But what I'm more excited about is actually helping people to navigate beyond my structures into creating a structure that works for them, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why this 40 day and this, this system that we're working inside of is so interesting because it, it puts more on uh, the client than it does on me. And, and you're still accountable to me. I'll still ask you, did you do it? You know? <laughs> But if you did it, it would be up to you. Are you actually following the guidelines we've shared with you, you know? And also the cool part is people get to share their results, their wins, you know? So back when we did, we were trying to figure out uh, which lane to drive in. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. um, we chose the cafe lane. We chose the lane of doing cleanses with people and taking people into a community cafe. And we did that for several years and it worked and it touched a lot of people, maybe 10,000 people. We also chose an educational lane, which is making culinary classes for people to attend. But now I feel like I have the time and I've taken on the third lane, which is actually coaching people through longer programs so their self-care can be less like a fast food cleanse where I design the structure and more fitted to what works for whoever is doing the cleanse themselves. And they can, we can kind of guide and make a structure and then over 40 days they can take on a lifestyle transformation as a result of these new habits they've created inside the cleanse. So I'm really excited about that. Plus we're going to take our culinary classes into an online platform. That's our goal. For 2020, we're going to have multiple small courses that teach you how to cook at home through video. And we've started building those uh, courses, which is kind of exciting. And I have a little team of superfood moms that we've come together. And that's one of the things that's happened in the last 40 days is Ellie, and, uh, Laura, and Ava, um, Chef Ava, have joined me in our mission to bring these culinary courses that teach you how to eat clean foods and keep you inspired and in the conversation. We even want to have one that comes out that's called um, the early dish, the earthly dish daily. And you would get a daily recipe in your mailbox. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of things, a lot of things going on with um, what opened up, you know, that, oh wait, I have the capacity to drive in more than one lane. Yeah. I didn't really get that before. I've been driving in one lane for like nine years. And here we are. I'm like, wait a minute. It's totally possible if I nourish and take really good care of myself to inspire others and drive in multiple lanes. Absolutely. It's kind of crazy. But it takes collaboration and it takes being open to co-create. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I was in that openness. You know, like I, it took a lot to get my son here. His birth was a traumatic experience. I had to actually get over and get through and taking care of him and becoming a mother was a huge transition. I mean, Ellie knows this cause she, she did the same thing three years before me and I got the joy of supporting her in that, you know? Um, but I didn't really get how, how difficult it was going to be until I did it, you know, plus you're running a business, you know, like being a mom running a business and now like 
wanting to teach the world. So it's kind of, <laughs> it's a big vision. You know? <laughs> is that all? Is that all, Jen? <laughs> that's it. That's it. You know. Um, but yeah, it goes back to your daily rituals and how do you want to how do you want to love on yourself, right? Okay, I want to love on myself by having every every morning taking ionic minerals that support my thyroid function. And then two hours later, I want to love on myself by having a really powerful, amazing green drink um, or a green smoothie. And then for lunch, I want to have a beautiful rainbow lunch that's in front of me and like isn't too big and doesn't make me feel tired and overstuffed. And most of it is raw, like maybe 70% of it's raw. You know, and maybe I have a little animal protein if I'm feeling I need it that day, or maybe I don't. Maybe I just have some quinoa on the side, you know. And then in the afternoon, I I might want to do a salt flush, or I might, I might want to, like, um, have a juice, like have a 16-ounce juice. Again, more fresh living, vibrant, high vibrational foods in the body. And then for dinner, I keep it light. I might have a beautiful, like, soup or make a bisque soup or something. And... Um, it doesn't take much time, actually. I mean, one thing that me and Ellie have been kind of exploring is doing a little meal prep. You know, here's a tip. You, on Sundays, do a little meal prep for yourself. Make yourself a pot of soup that you can eat throughout the week. Do a little, like, salad veggie cut up and maybe some dips so you have that in your fridge so you don't reach for chocolate. You're reaching for crunchy living food snacks instead, you know. You're not going to the sugar. So part of it is like designing that own structure of how to start taking care of yourself on the daily, you know, on the regular. So you're not high and dry, you know, make sure you go shopping. So there's fresh, beautiful foods on your counter and in your cabinet and you have superfoods in your cabinet to make your superfood smoothie, like honor yourself by buying those things for yourself because you spend all your money on other people. No, spend some money on yourself and your temple. And what will happen is as you start to really nutrify your body is you'll have way more energy, you'll sleep better at night, and you'll be ready to wake up in the morning with crazy clarity, like you'll be in a space where you can just receive it, you know, instead of being foggy and, and, and waking up in the middle of the night because you have too much cortisol in your system, you know. So, yeah, does that answer it? <laughs> it's a bit long-winded. <laughs> and that, that's totally okay and you know one of the things that you and I were really excited to talk about was this idea of you know when you change your, your body you change your business and you and I know that we it also changes your life but yeah I would love it if you, if you think of a story or if you honey is that on your end okay um I would love it Jen if you have a story about um, or if you could share maybe a time when it wasn't feeling really great or something that a transition that you went through and what you did to course correct because you've been in business now just shy of 10 years um, and and what that you know the fact that it is a journey that that it is this ebb and flow that we have to keep coming back to the healing that we have to keep rediscovering you know, what's working for me now? Because like you said, you had a baby three years ago. So maybe what you were doing five years ago worked for you and you've had to reevaluate and reassess. Because one of the things that I really want to emphasize to anybody who is listening is that this can go in baby steps, right? Because so many people are like, oh, so now I have to eat raw or I have to become a vegan or I have to juice for 40 days. So two things. What are some things that somebody could do just to begin to transition into cleaning up their gut, feeling better, thinking more clearly, being more connected to the true source, which is our bodies? Uh, and also, is there anything that you can share with us from your experience where things maybe weren't so groovy and what you did personally to move out of that place back into a place of, of clarity? I, I totally can do that. So um, what I'll use this is this summer. So this summer I was feeling quite depressed and very depleted uh, because of having the baby and not sleeping for two years pretty much. And I was like, I have got to figure out how to sleep again. 
I've got to figure out how to get my nervous system to relax enough so I can go into deep REM sleep. Because if you don't sleep deep, you don't dream, right? Mm. So I wasn't dreaming. And I was pretty depressed about that, <laughs> you oh. know? Yeah. And even though I loved my son and everybody was like, oh, but it doesn't matter. Your birth was, the birth experience was traumatizing. You have this beautiful child and that that was true, but what was also true is that I was forever changed by that trauma that I went went through, and I I needed to step through it. I needed to sleep again, and I needed like because you're so nervous about the baby if it's safe, you wake up easily, right? I was caught in a loop. I was caught in that place where I couldn't just relax and really let go all the way. So one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to sleep again. So that was like one of my goals. And then another thing I wanted to do is I wanted to have energy. Mm -hmm. I just felt kind of depressed and without energy. And it's hard to make uh, do long shifts in the kitchen where you're cooking for people when you have no energy. So, um, it was very interesting because Chef Ava came back into my life. She's been a friend of mine for years. And I was watching her do these 40-day transformations. And she's like, she looks night and day. I mean, she's lost like 40 pounds. She's super vibrant. And I, I just started connecting with her uh, because of our podcast. We have a podcast also. It's called The Earthly Dish. If you want to check it out, it's on CRN talk radio on Sunday from 10 to 11 and Wednesday from uh, 7 to 8. So uh, yeah, like she came on my show to share about her transformation. And I was so inspired by her. So the real trigger here of how I got back into like cleansing and taking care of myself is I got inspired by someone else. Mm. That was it. A woman and a friend of mine. But like her change and her transformation was so beautiful that I was so inspired by it that I said to her, hey, would you support me? Would you support me in doing this? And then I asked Ellie the same thing. I was like, would you guys support me in doing this? And they were like, hell yeah, I will support you. So that was the first step, like getting some support outside of myself that, yeah, I was having the trouble some time. And yeah, I, I knew I could fix it, but I needed to get the courage to start making the changes. Mm -hmm. And the first change that I instituted, even before I started the cleanse, was so I could sleep, I, I started shutting down my technology by 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So quite often when we're depressed mm -hmm. or we're in a dark space, we turn to movies and, and uh you know, shows or education, we get sucked into our media, which is even more isolating, right? And we don't shut it down, which keeps the nervous system running, uh, running, and you don't get to actually sleep. So I was like, I know this is a problem. Oh, are you still there? Yeah. My screen, my screen went black. Yeah. Um, I know this, I knew that was a problem. So I, I made a commitment to myself to shut down the technology, Facebooking, whatever you're doing, watching late, because sleep needed to become my priority. So I started working on that. And then um, I, I, got, I got into the, the superfoods from Perium. Uh, they're this amazing superfoods that I used throughout my last 44 day journey. And um, I started bringing all these superfoods into my diet that I, I use minorly. I started using them majorly. So that was the big shift I made. Um, you know, I can, if anyone's interested in the Perium cleanse or the 44 day, the 40 day challenge, I, I can, you can private message me and I will um, tell you all about it. <laughs> but yeah, I started integrating superfoods into my uh, daily practice, and I started mineralizing my body in a deeper way um, with ionic minerals. Um, so, yeah, from Who's that? Who's that, alien? <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. Speaking so, of like, which, yeah, speaking of little ones. Yeah, so I got committed to sleeping again, and I got committed to eating cleaner and superfoods. So I think that answers your question. 
Yeah, and I'm just making a couple notes in the chat. So your podcast is called The Earthly Dish. It's Sundays from 10 to 11, Wednesdays from 7 to 8. Yeah, and it's on CRN Talk Radio. Okay. Yeah. We're right on the homepage there, and you can just push a button and listen to us. Every every week we uh, we we dish about um, superfood products we love. Uh, we give an earthly dish recipe of the week, and we give you a lifestyle hack to practice at home. Fantastic. Um, plus, we interview a practitioner about a topic that we're interested in. So. The next one that we're doing is, uh, that will come out this Sunday. Well, there's one on Wednesday, actually. The next one on Wednesday is on uh, bamboo tea and how to use it to bring silica into the body. Okay. So, and then the next one after that is uh, about cleansing and fitness with an amazing lady called the Architect Goddess. So, yeah. yeah, we've been doing those shows for about a year. So it's like we have about 40 shows of the can and we're just going to keep doing it. It's really fun. And Chef Ava is now the co-host on the show. Um, Ellie was the co-host for the first year. If you visit our website, uh, you can see that the shows are at the very bottom of the page. You'll see in our blog, we have all the past shows in there. And, and what's our um, website again? Yeah. Oh, bringmejuice.com or Earthly Juice Cart. It takes you to the same place. Okay. And Jen, really quickly, what's, uh, what's the best way for people to reach you directly? Oh, yeah. The best pay way to reach me directly is just write earthlyjuices at Gmail, or you can call me at 310-404-6804. Okay. To talk about your digestive disorder, your health issue, your energy issues. Yeah. And about their business. And, oh, and and if the, you want that, yeah, and, we could. I love talking about people's businesses, actually. Well, and I, what I'm talking about specifically is the body business connection. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, and just the um, not only the transformation that you've seen, but what you've seen in others. But you know, just your own experience of running a business and needing to show up no matter what, and having employees that are relying on you and a family that's relying on you and showing up in spite of feeling shitty, to be quite honest, and that there is another way. Mm -hmm. It's really difficult when you're feeling sick to help people be well, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's a lot easier. Like, so you asked me, you asked me, how did I get started again on this round? I got inspired. I was inspired by Chef Ava's journey. And then I was inspired to inspire others which is kind of weird, but I, I knew once I put it to practice, like I got back into sleeping earlier, not eating sugar, taking on eating a lot of raw living foods and juicing and doing my thing. I knew that my body would cooperate because, you know, I have a good relationship with it. We've transformed a couple of times over the last 10 years. You know, three years ago, I did a 40 day also with Eve Hart. She does uh, the green cleanse, a 40 day green cleanse. Mm -hmm. And I got pregnant with my son. Like, I didn't even think I could get pregnant. You know, I, I, I just thought, you know, my spinal injury, it would just not be possible. This is why his birth was actually traumatic because of my spinal injury. Right. Um, but, you know, it, it, every time I take on myself and taking myself a deeper level in cleansing and nourishing myself, amazing things open up. And I can say that's true for the last 40 days and then the 40 days I did before. And even if you want to start, like, you don't have to do a big challenge like that. You don't have to do 40 days. It's just something that works for me. You could do a cleanse one day a week where you have conscious intention to nurture your body throughout that day. And it's that kind of focus on self-love, on, on appreciating the temple that brings the clarity that allows you to run your business. Not at, if you have a body-based business like mine, like where you're working with people's health, it allows you to be honest. It allows you to live in the honesty of what you're asking other people to do. You know, and I think that's a big thing. When I took that on and did that, other people really started to see it and come out and reach out and say, hey, you know what? I remember that's what you're all about and I'm so glad you're being this example and showing us what to do and guiding us and being of service in that way. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, 
I think also though, even if you don't have a body-based business, you're not in the health and wellness field, anytime you take care of yourself and your body responds, it, it takes care of you and you feel like good and you're glowing, people are attracted to that. People right. want to be with that. They want to be in that transformation, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, like if, if, if you're walking your talk, you know, like it, whatever kind of business you have, you have to actually be your own customer, if that makes sense. I do. In fact, yeah. we had a, Like, I mean, you guide women through uh, building their, their brand identities, you know, right? Mm -hmm. Don't you have to take those practices home and build your own brand identity? Oh, without a doubt. And, exactly. and, I, know, and I know for me, that's been part of the, you know, if I've ever had a challenge, it's been feeling like that I'm not there, that I'm not up leveling. So there is this, um, sometimes it's conscious, sometimes it's unconscious, but this, this degree of holding back. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with my body. And for me, it is definitely connected to weight. And I know that that is not the case for everyone. In fact, Jen, you and I were talking about this earlier, that for some women, a weight that feels really good to them it might be 170, 180, 190 pounds. Like they, they may feel really great at that way. But I know for me, because I've got um, historically bad knees from blowing them out so many times when I was snow skiing, um, multiple surgeries. Like I know for me that weight is connected to how I feel because the way that my body is responding. You know, and I think that there's so much talk right now about body positivity, and I think that that is a beautiful thing. And I also think that there has to be space in there to talk about what is or what is not an unhealthy weight from the perspective of how it feels. Like, I'm not talking about how it looks. I'm talking about us being honest. And, I, and I'm so grateful for what you said, Jen, about that people re are responding to this truthfulness that you – are sharing with them and I agree with you I think authenticity is irresistible because it's the thing that people really connect with and and we did an online forum a few months ago called faking it has a cost mm -hmm. and I'm not a fan of that I'm not I and I I understand conceptually fake it till you make it but I think if we're putting out something because we think it's marketable or it's clever or it's hip at the moment, but we're not really living it. People can see it. They can feel it like there's this huge disconnect. So um, I really, really get it, which is why this topic tonight was so important to me, because I know that how I'm feeling in my body absolutely reflects in my business, hands down. And when I am, like you said, when I am, you know, taking care of the temple, I feel better. I am more productive. I'm more prompt. I procrastinate less. I ask. That was something else you said tonight, Jen. You asked. You asked Ellie and you asked Ava if they would support you through this. And I know that I am more apt to ask for help when I'm feeling really connected, when I'm feeling worthy of that help, right? Because I'm, I'm committed and I'm willing to do the work. In fact, I drew a truth bomb tonight for our, for our show before we got started. And this is what I drew. <laughs> and then you said that and I was like, of course, like, of course you said that. That's why it's on my altar. Mm -hmm. um, but no, Jen, I, I really, really love what, what you're saying so much. And I think that this is really important and um, we have about five more minutes, but Patty, I would love to know if there's anything that you want to share or any questions that you might have for Jen, um, or just kind of what your experience has been with this, with this whole topic and, and maybe even what's next for you or kind of if, where you're at in your journey, Patty. There's definitely, um, a link between, um, the way you feel and the way you show up and you know it, being where i'm at in my current walk you know which is uh running a business uh being of service to others while you're also going through 
the grief journey is um, is a constant balance. And and I have learned over the last couple of years when I need to step back and say, I, I got nothing today. I have nothing today for anybody and that's okay. You know, and it's, it's a time that I need to step back and regroup with myself um, because the whole, you know, it, Sean Marie, when you said fake it till you make it, I, I never liked that statement. I've always had like a visceral reaction to that. And it certainly is, is, uh, is very true now. I can't fake it till I make it. There is no making it. That's right. You know, so it's just being honest with how you feel um, and, and giving yourself space to feel better. Uh, so that, that's kind of my journey right now. It, one question I would have for you, Jen, is um, for a novice who doesn't know, I mean, I know, I know what I eat that makes me feel good. I know what I eat that doesn't make me feel good. Um, I know what all that connection is. But somebody who says, you know what, I think I want to do a cleanse. You can go out and find 50 gabillion ways and 50 <laughs> gabillion experts in that. So what would you tell a novice who says, I want to, I just want to do this type of cleanse or that type of cleanse? Where, like, where do they begin? Um, I think it's important to kind of like uh, pick a structure, you know, like find, a, find someone who inspires you. And if they can guide you and their coach, let them kind of give over that power. You know, don't, don't hold all the control, mm. if that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I love when people do that, actually, when they pass it over to me as a coach and they say, okay, you're the guide. Yeah. I let you do this for a while. You're in charge. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, I mean, my big thing, I think, is it's not so much about, like, exactly about, like, what you put in your body as to, uh, you know, what, let's see, how do I explain this? It's not about what you put in your body. It's about how you treat your body. Does that make sense? It's, it's mm -hmm. different than like, you know, have celery at five o'clock or whatever. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. It's more so like, what's your biggest offender? Like, is it that you fight with people and it, it turbulates your body? Is it that you eat sugar when someone gunny sacks you? Like, look at the biggest offender. Look at how can I take this out? Maybe I do a 30-day media cleanse, right? Maybe I disconnect from social media. Or maybe that I, I commit to always making myself dinner for the next 30 days or 10 days or whatever. You know, um, yeah, because I think what you're talking about is more like diets. And what I'm talking about is more about lifestyle habits mm -hmm. and how do we change our lifestyle habits that we know are destructive you're aware they're destructive you know they are because they create a direct response inside your body that is negative right mm -hmm. and how do we stop hurting ourselves with food that's what you're talking about mm -hmm. and it's not about what diet you follow mm -hmm. it's about how you love your temple and how you treat your body Mm -hmm. on a regular basis do you put your body to bed at night do you give your body a nice epsom salt bath when it hurts do you you know uh do you you know make soup for dinner because it's it's better and lighter on the digestion i mean the tips and what you can do with the body is immense you know there's so many ways you can be ketogenic you can go go all green juices for 30 days you can mm -hmm. do the perium cleanse that we've done that creates a nice structure you can there's so many ways you can do it, but really what I tell people all the time is find someone that inspires you, something that intuitively communicates to your body, right? Because only if you intuit it and actually feel that your body's going to get this, are you going to actually do it. Yeah. Because what's the point, right? Mm -hmm. What's the point of saying, oh, I'm going to do the medical medium for seven day celery cleanse, you know, but then you only do two days. Mm -hmm. because it didn't really communicate to your being as wellness, right? So, I mean, I don't know if that's the clearest answer. It doesn't tell you what to eat, mm -hmm. which is what I think you wanted to know. Um, <laughs> well, no, I... I but I, it, it, if you needed coaching on that specifically, I could do some sort of one-on-one -on -one with you. you yeah, I, I think what I meant was... Um, and, and you actually answered it, was sort of 
what is the goal? What is the, what is the purpose? You know, not, not so much looking for a diet. Yeah. I mean, there's, God, I'm so sick of diets, you know, but yes. it's like, what is your goal? My goal is to not have my stomach hurt or my goal is to not wake up sluggish or my goal is to not, you know, wake up four times in the middle of the night, you know, whatever somebody's goal is. But That's right. Yeah. So usually uh, if I coach someone and I know their goals, I can reverse engineer it. I yeah. can work backwards with them. We figure out what are the biggest offenders and where do we want to be, but what's the roadblocks to get there, right? right? And then we start to look at the roadblocks, you know? And, you know, some of the roadblocks for some people is, is they're in abusive relationships. Mm -hmm. And I've had to tell them, you know what, it'd be nice if you just got out of that abusive relationship, you know, you got that boss that's nasty to you all the time and sent you into fight or flight every single day when they're over their shoulder, get a new job, go start your own business, do whatever you need to do to not create, you know, fight or flight nervous system overload, mm -hmm. you know, which is where I usually start. The biggest offender is usually something that sends you, you know, <laughs> I got to do something. I'm going to do anything just to not feel this. <laughs> you know? So, um, and then also with women a lot, they're dealing with hormone issues, depending if we're like, you know, post babies, before babies, perimenopausal, menopausal, you know, especially in this, like I'm 44 now in the last 10 years, you know, it's interesting. I've become our client. We were in our thirties helping people in their mid thirties to forties and fifties you know, whether the change and mainly women and now becoming a superfood mom as, <laughs> as, which is one of my identities. Um, you know, I take on, I using food as my medicine, you know? So it's like, what do you want to give up and what do you want to take on? Are the two things that you want to have inside of it? If you're creating a cleansing journey for yourself or a transformational journey. Mm -hmm. And then you want to have some limits like, okay, I want to do this for a certain amount of time, you know? So, and it's good if you have a coach or some guidelines or someone to support you through it. Cause as you said, the, there's a sea of opportunities. There's a sea of ways to go, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping to create uh, more educational tools for women and, and men, but mainly women to follow mm -hmm. when you have certain problems that, you want to reverse, you know, if you want to change the way your body is for shape or for energy or various things like that. Absolutely. Nice. You know, Jen, I think that that is, um, I really, I really love that you put the emphasis on what is your biggest defender. And the, question, the way that you framed the question was, what do you want to give up and what do you want to take on? And I think that's why I said earlier, like, I know that you're not technically a business strategist or a business coach, but I think that asking people those questions is absolutely in the um, truest form of support for them in their life and their business. You know, because, I mean, I can't tell you how many people have told me you know, how I want to feel has nothing to do with my business. And I tell them it has everything to do with your business. Mm -hmm. And just like you're saying, like, what is your biggest defender? You know, what do you want to give up and what do you want to take on? They might say, I want to lose weight. Um, you know, I want you to help me have a 24, a 24 inch waist again. And you're like, okay, well, that doesn't just happen. Like, like you said, like you can take somebody through a 30 day juice cleanser, a 10 day juice cleanser, a three day juice cleanse, but if they're not addressing what is really going on underneath that, you know, and I shared with you, Jen, that was some of my first experiences. Like I did a 30 day juice cleanse with you girls and, and then I went right back to, I was like, oh, that was really hard. And then it was really great. And I feel amazing. And people thought that I had work done because my skin looks so good. Um, and then I went right back. <laughs> I didn't hear you any. What was that? You're muted. There you go. Oh, yeah. It makes your skin glow. I mean, I, I have to say that's been the biggest change is people are like, wow, your skin is glowing, you know? And exactly. It, it, it's cool. It's like your inner vibration starts to come outward. Like people can see it and feel it. It's visceral. 
It, and I think, especially for women that are in media, right? Like, or, or in even what you do, you coach women's businesses, but really most of the time, women that have their own business, they have to be the face of the company, you know? And for me, that was a big deal. Like I was always afraid to do that. And now I've stepped into a place beyond that fear. I'm like, what did I want to give up? I wanted to be afraid of being seen. You know, I want to give that up. <laughs> give that up. Let me walk my talk so I can not be afraid of being seen, so I can be ever present to so many people, so I can inspire others for their own journey. And in in that ability to be seen, right? Like what you're talking about, Sean Marie, you have the same vision. You'd like to feel more confident and comfortable in your body, so when so you can be seen, you can be heard, you can be understood, you can be seen, and not be afraid to be seen, right? Okay. I think. Uh, quite often when we are inflamed, when we're in a state of inflammation or sickness or illness, we're afraid to be seen, you know? It's like, don't look at me. I'm in the crowd. Just pass over me, please. And women in business, we can't afford that. We've got to be seen. We've got to be known. We've got to be seen. you got to be seen. To have success, you have to be able to be seen. Yes. And you have to feel comfortable in your own skin, mm -hmm. you know? And I think... So often people don't, and I wasn't, I wasn't feeling comfortable in my own skin until I took this journey on and I said, okay, fine, I'm going to show all my warts and all, and then I'm going to erase them right in front of you, like a magic trick. And then you're going to want to do the same for yourself, you know, <laughs> like passing a baton, you know, like, you know, if I can do this shit, you can do it. <laughs> You yeah. know, and having detox buddies, having people that are on the similar journey and a community and a conversation of transformation and self-love and self-nurturing through food, you know, having a positive relationship with food is the key, you know, and the way we do that is by letting go of the negative conversation. You know, they say have an attitude of gratitude. Well, how about being grateful for every food that you put in your body? And then your body's grateful to you because you're actually nutrifying it, then leaving it depleted. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, so. Mm -hmm. oh, are you guys still there? My screen yeah. is black. Yeah. We're still here. So, I think, I think it's going to sleep mode. Yeah. So that's that. Well, Jennifer, I want to thank you so much. And Patty, thank you for being here with us and being the producer of all producers. I really appreciate it. And I know that we had a couple of guests on that we that had to hop off, but um, I really hope that they will take a listen to the rest of the show. Jen, the information that you gave was so valuable. And Jen, I just want to confirm, um, you've got a few things going on. Um, you're doing a really fabulous guided 40-day juice cleanse. I know that you also do uh, juicing and superfood and whole food deliveries, which people can contact you about. Your email address is earthlyjuices at gmail.com, correct? Your website is earthlyjuicecart at email at g, no, earthlyjuicecart.com, right? Uh, your phone number is 310-404-6804, correct? And how can we find you on Instagram or Facebook? Oh, on Instagram, I have at Earthly Juices, and then I have at Jenny Got Juiced. And then we also have our podcast, which is the Earthly Dish, at Earthly Dish. And then on Facebook, it's Earthly Dish Radio Show. If you want to come and listen to us talk to different practitioners and learn all sorts of options for cleansing the body from different uh different ways to do it, you know, from uh, working with practitioners, body work, or taking superfoods, different supplements, different recipes, lifestyle hacks. Um, also, I wanted to speak to you real, Patty, uh, to you real quick, Patty, just about uh, grief. Mm -hmm. There's an amazing grief group at Agape. I don't know if you've heard of Agape, because uh, you're in the Bay Area, but they they have a group, and I don't know, I don't know if you've connected with them, but it's uh, Dr. Beckwith's uh, uh, from the Secret. It's his his church, and they have a grief group that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also uh, amazing practices by Prema Chodron. She's a monk, 
and she helps you with mindfulness practices uh, for grief. Um, my mother, the reason she had her breakdown is because her mother died. Mm -hmm. And um, she, she came along to a lot of amazing practices as a result of, of going through that grief. Yeah, so. thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, can tell me what, who, um, who is, and I, I, I know that I've heard of her before, uh, who is the, um, and I'm, I'm sending these to you now, Patty, who is the monk? The monk is Prema Chodron, and she wrote this incredible book that's an audio book you can get, and it's called The Places That Scare You. Hmm. And she also has this other one about anger, which is just so incredible, called Don't Like the Hook. Don't like the what? The hook. The hook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't like the hook. Don't like the hook. Don't no, don't bite it. it. Don't bite That's it. Good. Like it's for anger. Like when you have anger arising, because a lot of people, when they have a lost loved one, they often get a little bitter and angry. Mm -hmm. So she has this great book she's written about it, um, and they're all on audio too, so you can just listen to them mm -hmm. um, to guide you and help you that way. Um, strong emotion is a, is a huge factor in how we love and treat our bodies, mm -hmm. you know, um, quite often, uh, we have to release that emotion and it's really good to do mindfulness practice for that or find people that do breath coaching mm -hmm. to release trauma like that, mm -hmm. or, um, even just to take on a daily practice where we turn inwards and look in our mind to investigate these emotions that are rising you know, which is one of the things I do. <laughs> Beautiful. Doing, doing the, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I can be an angry girl sometimes. So I need to investigate it. Go yeah. Punch some, punch some pillows. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not, not take it out on myself or others, you know. <laughs> well, Jen, thank you so much for talking to us about the the temple that we're living in and our body being a temple and the holiness of taking care of ourselves. It's so important. Mm -hmm. And I loved having you here and all of the information is in the chat box and mm -hmm. uh, we've shared it with anybody listening to the replay. So once again, uh, at Earthly Juices, uh, at Jenny Got Juice, 310-404-6800 and earthlyjuicecard.com. So go check out Jen and all the magic stuff she's doing uh, using Chinese medicine and Jen I wish you continued success and I'm so happy to be back on this journey with you so thanks for being here tonight and thanks for a great show and thank you too Patty my pleasure okay good night everyone good night